Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. We're looking today at one of our kind of most requested videos. So it's the high backhand coming in with a decent amount of spin from Mark. You know, we got the option to step up and take this ball on the rise, but today we're looking at the situation where we didn't jump the gun and we're going back for this high backhand. The first thing I would kind of implore you guys to do is grow a little bit, because if you're six, seven like I am, this ball's not that bad. Um, but for all of you who do struggle with this, we got a couple tips for you guys to make this shot a little easier to handle, okay? The first being that it is absolutely okay when you guys back up to kind of jump a little bit on this ball so long as you don't continue to get knocked back after you jump. I think what you'll find when you see the pros hit this high backhand is they go back and jump but if you notice, I landed on that same foot, and for all you two-handers, there's a chance you can land back on your right foot to stop your momentum from going too far away from contact, okay? Balance is really key on this shot, and I think a lot of you players that think you gotta get your, your feet perfectly set are not gonna find the time to be able to do that, and you're gonna hit this shot really defensively. Okay, so jumping's okay so long as you don't continue to fall back after you hit the ball. Uh, secondly, contact on this shot, you guys, is obviously up higher um, than a normal ground stroke. So we got to have the ability to have a swing path that leaves room to hit up to the ball. So be really careful you don't, you know, whether you're two hand or one, don't set the racket perfectly to the height of the ball because a lot of times if the ball is pretty darn high and your arms are up that high there's nowhere to go but outward and again that's you know a pretty defensive way to hit this ball we want to be matching the shot that's coming in in terms of spin and height and pace so if my racket sets a little bit under the height of the ball I've got the ability to swing up to it therefore creating topspin, and therefore my ability to swing fast is still in play, okay? So, without further ado, the high backhand coming in with some spin. I'm gonna give up some court. Here we go. Oh, there's that little jump you guys see, okay? Notice though, after I landed, that I didn't jump and continue to fall back. I'm landing on my left leg, and that's a key for you one-handers. If I was a two-hander, I'd probably go back and finish back onto my right foot when I land off that jump. But notice that racket speed, you guys. If I can keep that up and go deep with my own ball back to my opponent, preferably deep to their backhand, there's a very good shot they're not gonna have the ability to continue to drive this heavy, high ball into my backhand side, and therefore, I'm not gonna have to deal with it for probably more than one shot. All you players that are going back to this thing right now and hitting it defensively are giving your opponent continuous chances to continue to rip this high ball into your backhand side. And like I said, unless you're six, seven, you really don't want to be stuck back there playing a majority of these shots from way behind the baseline and up above shoulder height, okay? So go out, try those couple keys. I think you guys will find you'll really love the outcome, okay? And that's all I got for you. So please click like below this video. And if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks and we'll see you soon.